guys having a good day or night. Uh, today is going to be my first locksmith video. Um, in this particular video, I'm installing a Simplex L1000, which is a commercial grade lever that you know you have a you have a code to punch in. So you know a, a boss or whoever you know is the owner can hand out the codes to let the employees in, and you can also change the code. You know if you have to fire someone, let someone go, someone quits or anything like that. So. You know, I thought it was a pretty cool lock to install. Um, there's some extra holes that are involved, but they were already in the door because there was an L1000 already on the door. So I just got to install the new one. And, you know, I kind of fast forward through the install. And I know I'm doing a lot of stuff in the inside of the door, but I was pretty limited on where I could put my camera. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoy. And after I kind of show you a little bit how it works and how to change the code, um, you know, and if this video gets more views and things like that, then I might start posting some videos maybe of me, you know, getting into some safes or, you know, some more interesting stuff. So, you know, it's really just, you know, what, kind of whatever works we'll go with. So thank you guys for watching and enjoy the video. This is your hole to change the code. Okay, here we go. I figured I'd actually show you the change code combination. Uh, you know the the sequence to do it. So if you want to screenshot this, you'll have it. So you're gonna turn the outside lever once to stop position, then release. The latch should not retract. Number three, enter the existing combination. You should feel a slight click as they're all depressed. Insert the spanner wrench as shown. Gently turn the spanner wrench clockwise. Turn the outside lever once to stop. And choose a new combination and you're good to go. So, for instance, if I was going to change this one to one, two, three, go until it stops, enter in the factory code, then you are going to insert your spanner wrench into the lock. Feel a slight click, you're gonna come back, and you're going to enter one, two, three. three now works so one two three and you're good to go so thank you guys for watching again and i just figured i'll throw that in there for you thanks hi again uh this is really just an ending video for any locksmiths or people who might actually potentially be changing a code on one of these locks i did make an error in the video if you notice um after i put in the existing code after i clear it put in the existing code go around the back and i turn the spanner wrench once you turn the spanner wrench back and pull it out when you go around the front of the lock, you're going to clear the lock again by pushing the lever all the way down. Then you enter in the code you wish it to be. And then you you know hit the handle again and it'll work. And then that code will work. I think in the video, after I turn the spanner wrench, when I come around, I try to punch the code in first before I clear the lock again. 
it still winds up working, but it just wasn't the correct sequence. So I just kind of want to let you guys aware of that. So thank you again for watching the video, and there'll be more to come.